So hi everyone, it is Colloquial Vietnamese and today is lesson 11 and we'll continue with the phrases to describe people. And yeah, again, um, some of them are quite informal. I will um, tell you when it comes to it, okay? Uh, let's begin. So the first phrase that I have here is Goi to. Goi is a hunk. To is you already know, big. Someone who has a big hunk, yeah, it's someone who talks a lot and he um, never does actually does anything. So all we'll talk and no action. So uh, yeah, for example, thằng này chỉ được cái coi to, nói thế thôi chứ chẳng làm gì đâu. So that man is just have is all talk and no action, and he just said that and he will never do anything. All right, and the second one is go ho. Go on. I would say that it's a very new word. Um, yeah. And yeah, let me show you here. And as you can see, um, even some Vietnamese people don't know what it means. And yeah, right. People on the internet use a lot the word go on and they don't know what it really means and what it really means. Okay. Yeah, what it means is a dog. Jaw, and it is used when you want to insult somebody. Yeah, when someone wants to insult someone else. Okay, so for example, this phrase means he played me, and he's a son of a that. Okay, and uh, yeah, the next one, cá số. Cá số is to imply that someone is very ugly, and you can see the word số um, from the word so which is actually a crocodile with the adjective of so to describe someone who is ugly and yeah it just sounds the same so um, we can use this word too although yeah as I told you before this word gaso literally means a crocodile so if you google it it just show up a crocodile okay so for example biết người yêu mới của Hương không rồi tên là Lan cá sấu lắm <laughs> so do you know the new girlfriend of Hung? Yeah, I know. Um, her name is Lan and she's quite ugly. Okay? Yeah, on the next page we have um, some more phrases like this. Zua. Zua is actually an animal and it's a turtle. And yeah, it is also used to describe someone who is very slow. Not slow on the uptake. I mean, yeah, not slow in the sense of uh, not really intelligent, but slow in the sense like do you, like that person does anything very slowly, very slowly. So, Tuấn làm cái gì cũng chậm. Đúng là rùa. Tuấn does everything slowly, and he's a rùa. <laughs> Alright, um, five, I have the word dở hơi, which is to describe someone who is a nerd, someone who is quite silly, crazy. For example, trời rét, lại rủ nó đi uống bia, đừng có dở hơi như thế nữa. So, it is very cold today and you want to inv invite him out for a beer? <laughs> don't be so silly, right? don't be so... Uh, such a fool. Okay, and um, the last one that I wanted to uh, teach you today is the word that is a, which is to describe someone who comes from a rich family. And yeah, as you can see, um, I can show you here that is very popular. And yeah, you can see actually the names of the famous people and the rich people too. So, uh, for example, Lan nó chỉ yêu đại gia thôi. Lan nó chỉ yêu đại gia thôi. Lan just loves the people from the rich family. Yeah, and she is very material. Um, okay, so um, that is the end of today. And um, as I want you at the beginning, um, make sure that you use it right. Okay, so I see you next time.